Testosterone is an interesting hormone as it's the major sex hormone and it's also responsible for your overall health and more specifically muscle growth, strength, vitality and will improve your athletic performance. It kind of goes hand in hand with human growth hormone which I talked about in my previous video and the natural testosterone production also decreases with age. However, there are ways to naturally increase production of testosterone and I got some help from Philip Gasselbash who's a bit of an expert when it comes to optimizing one's health and has some great content on his YouTube channel which I'll link below. He's also written a book called The Stoic Body which is rated 5 stars at the moment so I think it's fair to say that he knows what he's talking about. So I'm gonna let Philip take over and talk about 7 ways to boost your testosterone levels naturally. Hey, so first of all, a huge thanks to Primed for letting me on the channel to share my knowledge uh, about nutrition and fitness. So in today's specific video, I'm going to be talking about seven ways you can naturally increase testosterone levels. Now, there's a lot of crap out there about what actually works. So I wanted to present this video and give you seven ways which have been backed by science and research time and time again to increase testosterone levels. So testosterone, which is produced in your testicles is super, super important for a number of reasons. So testosterone is associated with more muscle, more strength, uh, less body fat, but it also plays an integral role in your mood and various other important physiological functions. In general, for most guys, a normal range is going to be somewhere between 250 to 1000 nanograms per deciliter. And of course, this is going to vary based on your personal genetics, the environment you live in, your physical activity and various different factors, and most importantly, your age. So your testosterone naturally starts to dip at about 25 and from there on it starts to decrease year after year after year. So testosterone as a whole has been declining on average for men over the last few decades. Your dad and your grandfather probably had higher testosterone levels than you. So it's important to understand how to increase them naturally. The first way to increase your testosterone levels is to decrease your body fat percentage. So the more body fat you have, the more estrogen you have. Estrogen is the female dominant hormone and estrogen has an inverse relationship with testosterone. That means the more estrogen you have, the less testosterone you have. So obviously if you want to increase your testosterone, you want to decrease your estrogen. And the easiest way to do this is by decreasing your body fat. But you can run into some trouble here because in order to lose body fat, you have to be in a caloric deficit. And when you're consuming less energy than you need and thus losing weight, your testosterone actually dips because losing weight is a stress on the body. So basically in order to increase your testosterone by decreasing body fat, you have to lose weight and then maintain that lower body fat percentage and your testosterone will be higher than it was before you started the diet. You want to keep your body fat percentage somewhere in the ballpark of between 8% to 12% and upwards of 15%. Anything higher than 15, 20% or lower than 8% is going to have detrimental effects on your testosterone levels if you're trying to optimize them. The second way to increase testosterone is going to be to do strength training. Now, often associated with health and exercise is a long jog. And while cardio in general has great benefits for your health, it's really important to focus on compound movements like deadlifts, squats, overhead press, bench press. Not only is this going to help you build strength and size and muscle and just look good in general over the long term, it's also going to help you live longer, right? Having more muscle is associated with longevity, but exercises like this, especially big compound movements like squats and deadlifts are going to increase your growth hormone levels and testosterone levels. So if you're going to try and increase your testosterone levels naturally, you can do some cardio, but make your main focus strength training. And strength training in general is going to be better for body fat loss, which was the first point, because the more muscle you have, the faster your metabolism is. So that's super important to keep in mind. Strength training between four to five times per week for about 40 minutes works great for a lot of guys. The third way you want to optimize your testosterone levels is by getting enough vitamin D. So vitamin D is found in some foods, but the best way to get it is going to be from sunlight. 
The more time you spend in the sun, the more vitamin D you're getting, the higher your testosterone levels are generally going to be, and the lower your cortisol levels are going to be. So getting out in the sun, especially in the summertime, not for too long, obviously, but getting at least 15 minutes exposure of direct sunlight every single day is a really, really good idea, and it's going to benefit you in various different ways, but especially for testosterone, and studies have shown this time and time again. Now, if you live somewhere very up north or very down south, or you're just going through winter at the moment, then it is important to supplement with a vitamin D supplement. It's going to help keep your testosterone levels normal, as well as helping you overcome a seasonal depression, which can occur when you get a deficiency in vitamin D. So keep that in mind. Now, the fourth way is to increase dietary cholesterol. And this is going to be a bit controversial, right? Um, so first of all, I should make it very clear that there are certain people that shouldn't actively try to consume more cholesterol from sources like eggs, egg yolks. These people with APOE4 gene variations are going to be hypersensitive to cholesterol and foods high in saturated fat. But for the majority of people, study over and over and over again, there are multiple studies which have shown this, is that more dietary cholesterol tends to be associated with more testosterone. Because cholesterol basically is like a baby testosterone. It turns into testosterone and other sex hormones as well as cortisol. So getting enough dietary cholesterol is generally not going to have any sort of negative impact on your cholesterol profile responsible for heart disease risk, but it is going to help maintain adequate testosterone levels. Now, I'm not saying you should be eating 10 egg yolks a day, but all I'm saying is don't be afraid to eat egg yolks because of that whole cholesterol thing you've heard over the last few decades. Fat in general is probably the most important macronutrient for testosterone production. You want to get enough saturated fat, but don't overdo it. Just get enough and don't be scared of it. Get your polyunsaturated fats like omega-3 from fish and fish oil, krill oil, algae, which has important uh, fatty acids like DHA and EPA, which is good for brain health, protein synthesis, inflammation. Try to avoid omega-6 and too much polyunsaturated fat in general, as this is associated with inflammation. And try to get the majority of your fats from monounsaturated fat, like olive oil and avocado. Monounsaturated fats are really going to help optimize your testosterone levels. In terms of how much fat you should be having each day, this is completely up to you and which diet you're doing, but generally you do not want to go below 20% fat in total because that's been, that's been shown in studies to have negative effects on your testosterone. So a good percentage to aim for is going to be somewhere between 25 to 35% of your uh, calories from fat, especially monounsaturated fat, and you're going to be doing your hormones a lot of favors by doing this. The next thing you can do is to consume enough zinc, right? And zinc is a really important mineral. We know that when people are deficient in zinc, their testosterone levels go down. And when supplemented with zinc or, con or they consume more foods high in zinc, which generally tend to be animal products, then their testosterone levels go up. Now, consuming zinc is actually particularly important if you do a lot of vigorous strength training exercise on a consistent basis. So if you're an athlete or you're a general gym goer who trains really intensely, then you want to make sure to be getting enough zinc in your diet and perhaps considering a zinc supplement if you're just not getting enough in your diet. You don't want to get too much zinc, right? This can interfere with the ability to absorb other nutrients and vitamins like copper, um, but you want to be getting maybe 10, 20, 30 milligrams of zinc from a supplement if you choose to do that. You can also supplement with a zinc magnesium combination, which is really good for sleep. And magnesium is also important for mood, ATP production, and general muscle and cognitive health. So a ZMA supplement may be something you want to consider. Foods high in zinc tend to be dairy, right? Raw milk, cheese, uh, yogurt, kefir, beans. These are all great sources of zinc, as well as some other animal products. Careful if you're lactose intolerant. You don't have to consume a lot of dairy, and that's when supplementation can come in handy. Now, the next way to uh, increase your testosterone is probably the most important one to focus on, and that's reducing stress. When you're very stressed, your body produces more cortisol, right? Which is the steroid hormone in response to stress. And cortisol is synthesized from cholesterol. And remember what we said before, testosterone is synthesized from cholesterol. So when you're way too stressed and your body's producing way too much cortisol, certain enzymes can't handle that increase in cortisol. 
and therefore more cholesterol goes towards uh, cortisol being synthesized as opposed to testosterone, which is what you want. So being too stressed is going to be really, really bad. Cortisol and testosterone are like the break and the, and the accelerator. So you really want to focus on bringing your stress levels and cortisol levels down. There are various different ways to do this. One of the easiest is just sleeping enough and getting a good quality sleep between six to nine hours. Seven to nine hours is optimal. Doing some sort of meditation, which has been shown to increase testosterone, especially transcendental meditation. Uh, just taking a walk, not overdoing cardio, right? Overdoing cardio will induce an uh, increase in resting cortisol levels. It's not a bad thing, but just focusing on walking and strength training is best. Spending time in nature is really important as well. Getting enough probiotics, which increases the amount of good bacteria in your gut, has been shown to decrease cortisol and regulate certain neurotransmitters. Now, the last way is going to be intermittent fasting, right? And this may seem sort of counterproductive, but intermittent fasting has actually been shown to increase testosterone in the short term, as well as growth hormone quite significantly. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to help you build a ton of muscle, and I'll explain that in a second, but some studies in the short term showed that intermittent fasting increased testosterone upwards of about 180%. Longer fasts are going to decrease testosterone, obviously, because you have no nutrients coming in, your cortisol is going way up, but the really cool thing is that intermittent fasting has been shown to increase androgen sensitivity. What this basically means is that you're more sensitive to testosterone. That means... 300 nanograms per deciliter as a 25 year old may seem quite low, but the thing is those 300 nanograms per deciliter of testosterone may go further and you may get more bang for your buck as opposed to 400, for example, let's just say with a lower sensitivity of your androgen receptors. There's an inherent danger here because if you're fasting and you start to under eat, then that's going to cause problems for your testosterone levels, right? So you want to be consuming enough food and ease into a fasting schedule uh, slowly and don't do something like one meal a day without tracking your calories. You know, that's something important to keep in mind. If you're under eating and you're not trying to lose weight, you're trying to build muscle, then obviously your testosterone levels are not going to be up to scratch. So that's it for the video. Let's conclude. Get enough sunlight, exercise, focus on strength training as opposed to cardio, get enough zinc, lower your stress levels, get enough dietary cholesterol, try intermittent fasting, get enough quality fats, and stay relatively lean, somewhere between 8 to 12 to 15% body fat. Now remember, increasing your testosterone levels naturally isn't going to magically make you Superman and give you a ton of muscles and huge biceps. It's just not going to happen. You know, increasing your testosterone from 400 to 500 nanograms per deciliter honestly isn't going to make you any bigger or necessarily any stronger. But what it has been shown to do is make you a significantly more leaner. So the more testosterone you have, the leaner you're going to be. You're only really going to see the benefits of muscle gain and getting way bigger when you exceed your testosterone levels by much more, 20-30% above the natural limit, which usually requires some sort of exogenous form of testosterone like steroids. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to sit down with me and hear these seven ways to uh, increase your testosterone levels. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed the video, then feel free to check out my channel. You know, I talk about nutrition and fitness mainly for guys. I help you optimize your nutrition and fitness to help you get stronger, fitter, just eat the right foods and optimize your hormones so that you're living a fulfilling, healthy life. So that's what my channel is all about. I'm Philip, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.